Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, ended the previous episode on a bit of a good note. Um, Master Chai has returned back to Yomori, he's accepted the interim memorial office, and has gotten Rendon to come back and help him out during this process. Same time, unfortunately we also learned the White Orth site may not be the thing that we need to get our friend's souls back here to the source. So, let us talk to Taru and see what we can do. Heidi in your back. How did everything go on the first? Wait, don't tell me. Crow will be here shortly and she'll want to hear too. She's just tending to the others, their bodies, I mean. God, I don't think I'll ever get used to saying that. Anyway, you can tell us everything when she gets done. On speaking with Star Room, several cuts in the playing sequence is recommended you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've carried out the treatment as per Master Matoya's instructions. It should slow the destabilization of their corporeal ether quite significantly. But tell me, how fair are friends in the first? I wish my character could talk. So this Becklug's the first to lead an authority on Soulcraft, are they? Sounds promising. And Urianger's proffered solution of white orosite is rather ingenious now that I think of it. Well, while they press on with their preparations, you may rest assured we will continue to do our part here. Oh, you're back. Oh god, this is in here. <clears throat> oh good, a, a residential ass kicker. And none the worse for wear, I see. Estinian! Oh, thank the gods! We've been worried sick. Did you lose your link pearl or something? The situation in Garlemald has become more complicated. I was making my escape from the capital when I ran into one of yours, Riol. He thought it best we come straight here. More complicated how? Oh, uh, the Emperor's dead, I think. <laughs> Where to begin? After entering the Empire via Raz at Han, I went about my mission of investigating Black Rose. It was then, inside a provincial factory, that I encountered the one who styles himself Shadow Hunter, Gaius Baelsar. Our goals being apparently aligned, we joined forces and ventured on into the heart of the capital, to the very Imperial Palace itself. There, we found a man whom all assumed dead. But his soul lives on, and he has rested back his flesh. Xenos Ye Galvas. Nor did the surprises end there. For no sooner had we arrived than he murdered his sire in cold blood. The Emperor is dead. This sent Gaius into a rage, and he charged in, blade drawn. What's wrong? I seen him in action, his body at least, you will not best him alone. Nay, hey, death will not come easily to that thing. If you would join me, then by all means. Oh. 
what good it will do. Black Wolf near a Dragoon. I suppose this might suffice. <clears throat> Come then. Uh, it's a pleasure of one's own flesh. Truly, there's no place like home. Abomination. Whatever he is hiding was barely a match for him. It was barely a match for him. If we stay here much longer. Emperor Varus, your radiance, are you alright? We, we may wear out our welcome. Your radiance, no. Oh, most, even the most middling of sport be spoiled. What conspires to bore me? But I have no cause to remain. I leave these vermin to you. Xenos. Well, any bright ideas? Just one. I'm getting the hell out of here. Radiance. Druids to take a flight. I repeat, the Druids to take a flight. Deploy all available Magitek armor. We cannot let them escape. Eh, we can do it on normal. Small chance I could die. I also gotta remember his attacks, which are I guess it's a such a thing. Oh, guys. Awesome. I'm not guys, but uh... That'd actually be cool to play as guys. I found we're playing, um, Sydney and Mills. Sydney is awesome. But I never got to play the Dragoon class before, so this is actually really cool for me. Just gotta be careful in terms of health. I hope these two realize they're not going to kill me. They wait their thoughts. Stinian and Gaius. Both your asses. I think not. Damn it. 
This way, quickly. I wish I could sprint. Oh my god, this must be painful. We lose by moving together, it's just we split up. Then I'll take the low road, so to speak. Do I go this way or this way? I think I'll go this way. Just like, imagine I actually having to run this type of way. Like, look how he runs. This has to be... That would hurt my back. Okay, well, this is not the way. Oh, no, this is the way. I passed the door on my bed. My bed. Ooh, fancy place. You know, I'm going in the experimental room. I'm... I'm cool. Well, well, someone's been busy. <laughs> Why'd that thing scream like a bitch? Hey, by my way, would you so be it? Come on, Nidog, lend me your strength. Tap number two. Love it. Fast, 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 fast. I think I know how to do this now. Took my eyes off for five seconds to be with him. Wait, nothing, bitch. I know where my mistake was. I, uh. Killing one thing. As I said, I took my eyes off the screen for a second to go do something, and then I hope something was good. No fun. Salamander. Come on, bitch, fight. Eyes open, eyes open. Looking for a particular set of enemies. That's what I'm looking for.
Okay, got them all pretty self-destructive this time. Last time I didn't stop that. I didn't pay attention to it. Where is Duke in? Got this. Not that hard of a fight now. Go with that ass, bitch. Go with that ass. Come on. All right, let's do it. Eat it with a nid dog. Taste my lungs. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we got the dog. Guys in the Mechana. Now, where are you guys? Fair question is, is like, that was where guys in them was at. Where, where had those other two buddies? Yeah, because we had the blue haired lady and then the uh, one elf guy. Kral seems to have fallen into the same problem. Are you all right? Peer into my past, did you? Of course. What else would I do? <clears throat> well. I didn't quite relive the experience as you did, but I bore witness to it all. I'm still not sure what I think of this gift of yours, but no matter. Our confrontation was cut short when the Imperial Guard arrived. It was then that Xenos took his leave, citing boredom. <laughs> to think their research into the Echo could bear such fruit. Escaping death, jumping from one body to the next, and returning to his own after all this time. He is an Asian in all but name. It beggars belief, I, But no more than hero traversing the rift between worlds. I don't know nothing. My concerns are far more prosaic. With the Emperor dead and the Crown Prince missing, the Empire is in disarray. Until order is restored, assuming it even possible, we needn't fear an Imperial reprisal. And for reasons of his own, Xenos took it upon himself to rid the world of Black Rose. Hmm. Riol has already gone to apprise the Alliance leaders of these developments. We may leave the matter in their hands for now. Then perhaps we have seen the last of the fighting at Gimlet. Though, if it comes to civil war, I cannot help but fear for the provinces. I'd nearly forgotten to ask. What became of Gaius? Did he not escape with you? That he did. 
but we parted ways shortly after leaving Garlemald. He claimed another threat had arisen which demanded his attention. He didn't elaborate, but the absence of some device or other in the capital gave him reason to believe they're planning something. Lest you worry, I believe he has well and truly shed the Black Wolf's pelt. Conquest is no longer his objective. We may safely leave him to his own devices. Well, it's nice to have one less foe to worry about, even if we do have a mysterious new threat to look out for instead. Speaking of which, I'll see that Riel and Al Shinobi are made aware, though we still know next to nothing. It can't hurt to be vigilant. Well then, with Black Rose nipped in the bud, I believe I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. That's true, but with the Archon still slumbering away, we were hoping you might agree to stay with us for a little bit longer. Sorry, but I'm not inclined to extend my contract. Gaius isn't the only one with business to attend to. <laughs> that I honestly do believe. Thank you for your help then, Eskinian. I see why Alphano admires you so. <sighs> Farewell, my friend. See that you don't make a habit of dozing off in battle. I suppose we should all be getting on then. As ever, we will see to the Archon's needs. In the meantime, why not get some rest? You've more than earned it. No, oh, she says go on. Sorry everybody, I misclicked. I did it again. I love misclicking. Oh god, that is way out. Oh, that felt good. They may not have yet to find a workable solution. You're still on the others are making progress. We cannot ask more than that. We must be shattered after all that hopping back and forth between worlds. Why not stay here and rest for a while? I'm sure a bag of luck can manage without you. They've got enough silence to help them, if you ask me. Meanwhile, in Gala mode. Loading distraction. Hey, it's like I can foretell the future. Traitor, you would dare deny Lord Nerva the throne? Are you sure you want to fight Venus? How many of these people seem to realize this? You probably kick all their ass. Onward for today, this gun victory shall be ours. The Empire is in disarray. Boring, boring, boring. What do you think? I find it amusing, like her dogs herding uh, cattle to the slaughterhouse. That you, your soul is... who are you? For well, your majesty, I am but another dog, lost in want of a new master. Hunt a dog if you should wish. Or a hunting dog if you should wish. For I know full well the prey you seek, you would seek next. Zodiac.
Did you hear the mayor is reopening Daedalus Stoneworks and are looking for laborers? There's talk of resettling some of the old abandoned villages too. They're even laying out free towers to help anyone willing to make a move. Free towers? Huh, you better get best get packing. Said he work, board, and lodging. If that's not a recipe for help, I don't know what is. Wow. Master Chai's doing a great job. You're getting everything organized and set up and ready to go. Hope. I recognize that outfit. Yeah, so long as I yet live, I would see that feeble flame rekindled. Why is that art? Does my destiny see our dream fulfilled? Caring for the signs, you've made more than a few new allies. I'm sure they'll be useful in the future once everyone is back safe and sound. Old enemies and new threats. Okay, I see, uh. Got, uh, Flame General back. What the hell is he doing? I mean, my, what a pleasant surprise. Come to inquire about the Archons. Fear not, Master Matoyo's treatment has proven effective in stabilizing the Corporeal Ether. We must take a place in our potent those relics. Maybe they are not without limits. I can only hope that they afford us enough time for the Crystal Exarch to complete his work. Only we can go with you to the first and help. Pardon the interruption, but I come bearing urgent news. Ah, I mean, it's been far too long, my friend. Forgive me, I don't believe we have been formally introduced. Next, my former guardian ambassador, remain here in Oriorzi under the auspices of Commander Alden. For what counsel I can in the hopes of resolving the present conflict with the Empire. Ah, yes, I heard stories of a defect from Gollumal, but never mind that. You said you have heard the news? Indeed, as you may have heard, the Imperial capital was in turmoil, and a sizable portion of the Garlean forces had been recalled from the Gimnathark. With their numbers so greatly diminished, the main host of the Alliance has withdrawn, leaving the Alamegan resistance to keep watch over the border. As of there, uh, we have welcomed the most unexpected visitor who claims that this de-escalation may belly growing danger and unforeseen threats. Commander Alden has arranged for an Prop 2 meeting to discuss these revelations. He has also requested a representative of Silas to as well. It was clear to whom he wished I extend this invitation. It would seem time is of the essence. Well, you'll not be attending this meeting alone. Though I am not as well as versed in the affairs of city states as our comrades, I see no reason to burden a single sile with all this. Yes, of course, then we must make for the Alamegan Quarter with all haste. Well, what are you waiting for? Keep going, you two. Don't worry about the others, I'll keep an eye on them while you will cry her away. I felt like I didn't do too much. And that would be quarter. Also, off screen, I did all those things too. Wait, did I? I don't remember. Any of you may be wondering, Demon, what are you why are you simply referring to? I mean ether counts. Oh, I did. I did. Sorry. I did. Okay, okay. Alright, where now am I? I can go this way. I actually know. You know what? I think I'm over on time, actually. I should probably end the episode here. Yeah, you know what? I will end the episode here. The, here in the pitched rain. Ain't this fun. Alrighty, everybody. So, with that, all I have to say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back. We'll talk to the uh, Flame General and see what news he has to offer us through some type of informant across the border. I'll be sure to see you guys next time. Thanks.